Hello viewers, welcome to SS Tutorial. Today in this video, I will discuss about resources and its classification. So let's begin. Resources are nothing but anything or any substances available in our environment, which can be used to fulfill our needs and desire. Plant, animal, metal, water, wind, soil, fish, all are examples of resources. But here we must remember that anything or any substances are not actually resources. Functions of anything or any substances are called as resources. All of we know the functions of a duster is to wipe writing on the board. It means duster is not a resources until the writing on the board is wiped with the duster. Let's know classification of resources. Resources can be broadly classified into three types. They are natural resources, human resources and human made resources. Resources which we get directly from the nature are called as natural resources. Water, forest, wildlife, minerals all are gets directly from the nature. All of these are examples of natural resources. Human resources are those resources which we get from the human beings. Like skill, knowledge, creativity, all of these are human resources. When natural resources are modified by human beings with their knowledge and skill and created a new and better usable resources, then these resources are called as human-made resources. As an example, we can say about thermal power. At first, coal or natural resources is extracted from the mine and with the help of our knowledge, thermal power is generated by burning coal. Natural resources further can be classified on the basis of origin, on the basis of ownership, on the basis of exhaustibility or renewability, and on the basis of distribution. Let's know them one by one. On the basis of origin, resources can be classified into two types. They are biotic resources and abiotic resources. Biotic resources are those resources which we get from the living organism, like forest, animal, fish, and so on. And abiotic resources are those resources which we get from the non-living things, Air, water, soil, minerals, all are abiotic resources. On the basis of ownership, resources can be classified into four types. They are individual resources, community-owned resources, national resources, and international resources. Individual resources are those resources over which only one person has rights. Like your laptop, your phone, over which only you have the rights. Your laptop and your phone are individual resources. Community-owned resources are those resources over which everyone in community has a rights and are available for all members of the community. Public park, public playground are examples of community-owned resources. National resources are resources over which only a particular nation has rights. Here we must remember that individual resources and community-owned resources all are under the national resources. For the development or security purpose of the nation, they can be marked as national resources. All resources which we get in the political boundary of a nation and 12 nautical miles from the coast of the nation's oceanic area are known as national resources. Wildlife, forest, soil, minerals which a country gets within its political boundary are examples of national resources. International resources are those resources which are regulated by the international institution and over which no particular country has rights. Oceanic resources which are located beyond 200 nautical miles of exclusive economic zone, ozone layer and resources which are located in the Antarctica are examples of international resources. On the basis of exhaustibility and renewability, resources can be classified into two types. They are renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Resources which are once consumed that can be renewed or reproduced with the passage of time by physical, mechanical and chemical processes are called as renewable resources. Air, water, all are renewable resources. Misuse and overuse of these resources can limit its available quantity. Non-renewable resources are those resources which are limited in the nature. And once we consumed, they cannot be reproduced or it takes millions of years to reproduce. Minerals and natural gas are examples of non-renewable resources. On the basis of distribution of resources, resources can be classified into two types. One is localized resources and other is ubiquitous resources. Localized resources are those resources which we can found only in the selected areas like coal, copper, gold and so on. And the resources which are available everywhere in the earth are called as ubiquitous resources like air, wind, sunlight and so on. That's it for today. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button and share with your friends. And if you are new in my channel, then please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.